Next, take a look at how we can write better functions or what are the things we should consider while writing functions. So here is example of creating menu and it is bad practice to uh, pass too many function arguments. So it shows uh, what is a good practice here. So uh, let me give you a uh, example if you do not understand what uh, it is. So I'm here at a uh, Laravel project. So in web.php, uh, so basically I use this web.php to test several functionality. So you can write anything here, you can make class, you can do anything here. This is just, uh, I use the this just to execute the code inside. Okay. So uh, basically what you want to do is uh, create a uh, I will take example of creating uh, some superhero character or something like that. So we'll ne uh, need class for that. So superhero. And we need a method to create a superhero. Create superhero. Okay, next uh, here uh, we'll, uh, it's, uh, so basically uh, first let's see uh, what we used to do or what bad practices. So in order to create a superhero, we'll uh, require name of superhero, uh, weapon or power, what it got, weapon and age or something like that. And here you'll just echo or die dump something. Uh, basically uh, you might do something anything with these variables here so for now i'll just uh, display the information name name okay now we'll call that and from here we need to pass name like if you want to create spider-man or superman Okay, so now if we execute that on browser, okay, here's super uh, detail, name Spider-Man, power senses, or whatever you uh, like to do. So basically, it is not good practice to pass uh, this many parameters. So in future, if your project grows up, uh, you might want to add some other features like uh, a costume color or anything you might want to. So this uh, parameter grows up and so the code becomes unmaintained uh, it's hard to maintain so so the good practice here is uh, for these all configuration uh, you can make new class and define that configuration there so i'll comment this code and let me show you a good practice so uh, i i've created a new class superhero configuration for all the configuration uh, we can alter for a superhero and another class uh, for superhero just like this superhero basically that is same so now uh, instead of accepting all these parameters uh, it accepts the superhero configuration class here and then it displays uh, the information so now uh, we built up that superhero configuration class and defined all of the uh, parameters uh, of the superhero and then we passed it here as a this config and we, we can do whatever we want here so the uh, the benefit of using this is uh, if you see inside the superhero class uh, inside create superhero method uh, uh, you, it, it is uh, quite expandable like if in a big project uh, for example let's see superhero uh, the we can uh, someone said uh, we have to add some other features to superhero uh, then we can simply just add variable here and then we have uh, instantly access to that variable we don't need to do anything to this create function so we have access to that variable here and we can handle here whatever we want
also you can define any other uh, methods related to configuration like so if you want to uh, do something to this name or if you want to add something to name uh, like make the name capitalize or whatever related to any of these variables you can alter any of those uh, by defining method here and you have instantly access to uh, those methods in this class inside this create superhero uh, method so uh, for a small project uh, i think uh, it is totally fine so by the way uh, these will be on separate file uh, so you might see the long long code here but uh, these will go in separate class and we just have to call that function here okay so uh, this is how you can reduce the uh, number of argument uh, you, to pass uh, you pass in that function so instead just pass the class or object and everything uh, will be take care of also another thing uh, uh, inside this superhero class we don't need to specify create superhero because this uh, class is already superhero and we are just naming it create will suffice